Greetings everyone along with 1994 Stanley Cup winner Eddie Olchek. I'm Mike Emery. This is the start of the Stanley Cup final. I know we're a little jittery about this. I can only imagine what it must be for a player. You had your name etched on that cup and both of these teams know that if things go right every individual name can be on there. When do the nerves leave. I think once you get into the game doc I don't know if there's a specific time that the jitters leave but I think once you get into fierce a couple of shifts in the game one of the Stanley Cup final then it just becomes believe it or not just another game. And of course Carey Price starts in goal in the prime of his career he's racked up all kinds of credentials Olympic gold the NHL all rookie team and considered the best goaltender in the world. Jones is the man in the crease in this game. His commitment has been superb. He even gets mad if he lets one in in practice, and sometimes he doesn't for the Sharks. Another terrific night of hockey here. This Stanley Cup final game is underway. Mike Emmerich here, Eddie Olchek next to me, and Ray Ferraro down near the ice. Taken to the corner by Gallagher. Let's it go. Can you say ping? Boy, what reaction. He's got it again. Good work by Pavelski. Lightning in that glove. Knocked down to a knee. He lost it. Fires. That puck's still alive, but a great glove save. Shrugs him off. Loose puck knocked away by Brendan Gallagher. Propelled to Burns. And angled to Vlasic. Great chance, but he missed. He can't miss by a much smaller margin than that. He rifled it just wide of the net. Got a piece of that one. Score! Didn't take long for the home team, did it? That's a confident goal scorer there when you fake to the forehand and put it in. And so he thought he had it snuffed out, but the shooter was able to get the puck around his foot and deposit it in the cage. The Canadians have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. Over four minutes played here in the first. It's a 1-0 game. Scored by number 67. Into the attacking end. Assisted by number 6, Shane Weber. Many yards gained to Petrie. Muscled right off. A good stick there, so no complete pass. And worked up the wing to Byron. Using the point, he's got it. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Score! I love watching guys score on the backhand. Jones doesn't make the stop here. It's a low stick side shot that beats him pretty cleanly. Montreal Tie up goal. and a help from the winger. Pitching this one to Dillon. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Oh, six save. Six minutes, 42 seconds. Montreal's got a face-off win. The Canadians lug that along up the wing. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Good face-off win. Good try there. The Sharks have it in center ice. Gains the zone and looks over his options. It's off his pad. 
Headed right under the shadow of the scoreboard. Chip to Shaw. And at an angle to Jordy Ben. Receives that pass from the other side. Gloved. Puck covered. Whistle blown. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Just over nine minutes to go in period one. The Canadians have widened their lead. It's now two goals. Grabbed, the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. It's an onside play. Has it back deep. Montreal's in possession as they travel up the wing. On the outside, a shot. Shoots. You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. The video will reveal here that the goaltender was in excellent position. Sometimes the shot is just so perfect, it's unstoppable. The Sharks control from the neutral zone. Moving it to Burns. Dogged determination there by Vlasic. Up the wing, making some headway. A good stick there, so no complete pass. He's got that pass at the point. Nice tip of the pass. Laid on to Burns. That shot's blocked. Swung back to the point. Still no shot. No room for a pass. To the point with it. Great block. Gains the zone. Let's it go. Wonderful save. Another save. He covers and holds on. A little under four minutes remaining in the first. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. The Bodka. Now it's directed to Martin. A shot. Got it all. The goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. The Canadians with a face-off win. Gets in. What'll he do? Fires. Paddled aside. Martin's carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. And down to Pacioretty. Gaining space, maybe time. That went off someone, loose puck. The clock is Four goals in a row for the same team. Oh, that shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. And so from that position, the glove side is your target area, but the goaltender should know that. He just can't catch it. San Jose's got that puck off the tie-up. Slid to Kane. Up to the point. Outstanding save. Just on reputation. You can smell a goal there. That shot glanced off the post. And the period comes to an end. Woo! We all need a rest now. Join our fan club and receive a membership card. Discounts on team merchandise and team workshops, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. San Jose's goaltender has had one of those nights. And so this score is lopsided. And we will return after he gets a rest. 
and these words. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Montreal's up, Doc, but I gotta imagine inside that locker room, they're probably wishing they would have capitalized on a few more of the opportunities they had in that first period. Period two is underway. Let's see if something happened during the first intermission that can bring this closer to even. Price got the whistle and a rest. You get an odd man rush, you better finish it off. You don't get many of them. The goalie was better than them there. Face off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. The Sharks are moving the puck in their own end. Gains the blue line. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. He heads right for the net. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Blocked. Pitching it to Couture. Terrific determination. A good chance. Denied. San Jose is in possession and neutralized. Gets across, looks over his options. On to Bodka. Goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Well, the goaltender wants to be aggressive here, but this is just perfectly delivered. Just a bit under, five minutes have been skated here in the second. The Canadians did yield a goal in the recent moments, but they still are ahead by three. Propelled to Byron. Fires a shot. Great stick save. Nice face-off work. San Jose is controlling play now in the defensive zone. He's in on an onside play. Can make a play from the corner. Shot didn't have a lot on it, did it? Puck is thrown to Petrie. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Oh, what a great shot down there. The Sharks have control of the puck in the defensive zone. And they are in. Wrist shot. Great stick there. Chip to Bodker. Piped in the slot. What a reaction save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Looking for options. Faces up to the point. Nice little leap off his glove. Freezes play. Price is able to keep his upper body straight as he makes the butterfly save on a pretty easy stop. Got possession. Wonderful play by the defense. Great job on a cut pass. Montreal's in complete control of this game because of their ability to force turnovers. Let's it go. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Just under nine minutes to go in the period. A three-goal edge. On the big board, it says four to one. Quick work on the face-off. Sends to the point. Puck's loose, mishandled. Oh, and he's hammered. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. A 
Under Siege needs to be gotten out. Jones holds on, and that'll do it. A clean hit, too. That's the best part of hockey, when the game is played as physically as possible, as cleanly as possible, and this is a crushing check. Good clean win. Knocked it away with the stick. Trying to go to Hansen. Thrown in. And the pickup. Montreal's up the wing, controlling play now. Passing one off now to Hansen. Gets in. What'll he do? Block it away. And possession snapped up by Gallagher. To Alsner. Montreal's organizing back in the defensive zone. Looks over his options from the corner. Pass attempt to Hansen. Carrying through center on the wing. Shot hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Montreal's up the wing, setting things up. He is shut right off. Waffle boarded. Directing that one to Burns. And he continues with it up the wing. In the, second period. the drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. Carried to the corner by Joe Pavelski. And he's tied up and held. He lost it, tumbled down to one knee. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. We take a look at the shots on goal through two periods. 16 for Montreal and 14 for San Jose. The Sharks, with the scoring of this goal, have clawed their way back closer. We'll see if there's momentum from this when we continue after this. Make sure to stop off at any team store here at the arena. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? Montreal's coaching staff, Doc, told us before the game they want to get off to a good start, and they have in a lot of areas, especially on the scoreboard. They are well in control of this game. Let's see how they play it the last 20. Let's a shot fly. Carried to the corner boards by Couture. Good place to shoot from. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Skates out with it. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. Laid on to Alsner. Looking from the corner. Can't get a shot on it. Jones decided to cover. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. The Canadians prevailing on the faceoff. Oh, broke it up! The Canadians, in their own end, in possession. Hock loose, couldn't get through. Snapping a pass to Hemsky. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. Takes that pass. Lugged along the line. Loose puck gathered by Schlemko. Let's a shot go. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. You could really see this goal coming as a result of the pressure that they had for a long period of time. I think the players on the ice were just out of gas. Goalies hate getting beaten up over the glove side. They think they're in position, and they feel that they can catch just about anything. Not this time. Cool. 
the draw, the tie up, and his team prevails. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Donskoy is going to the box for two minutes for high sticking. 35 seconds. If he keeps his hands down, this is not high sticking. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Good clean win on the draw. Possession once again by Olsen. Solid glove save. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Over seven minutes have passed here in the third. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. The Sharks have it along the boards. Mashed in. Collected by Olsner. Carries it up the side. Back on his stick. Strong defensive play. Slid to Weber. Nicely into the zone. On to Weber. Fires. That hit somebody. Back to the point. Tremendous pressure. Hands over to Alsner. Waits with it. Pressure mounting here. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. The Canadians with possession in their own end. Nicely into the zone. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Possession taken up by Vlasic. And that one sent back out to center. Still time on this power play, but not much. The Canadians' power play let them down at a very important time. You have to be 50-50 in a game on your special team's most... Score! What a hit! Weber's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, not just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skill. If you really think about it, at some point, the puck's got to get through the middle of the ice, the area in between the two face-off dots. If you get there, you're going to get rewarded. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. And the face-off's won. Looking to Gallagher. The Canadians up the wing are moving the puck. That play goes offside. Hey, I like this mascot, guys. He's kind of goofy. The fans are getting a charge out of him. He's running all over the building, keeping them engaged in the game, too. And he's not like some of those mascots that look horrifying that you're scared of. This is good stuff. Pitching this one to Pavelski. Shutout positioning by Petrie. Taken on by Martin. Loose puck did not go well. Long lead pass to Pavelski. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. A little over eight minutes to be played in the third. The Canadians have given up a goal recently, but they still have a three-goal lead. Hammering his way up the wing at center. Oh, great cut! Moving it to Bodker. Into the end of attack. Offside is called. Somebody got over-anxious there. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. 
Montreal's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. Puck picked up here. Terrific point blank save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. The Sharks lug that along the boards. Propelled to Thornton. And now it's directed to Braun. Taken over again. Montreal is continuing to probe up the wing. Gathered up again by Shaw. Takes it from the boards and looks on. Marched narrowly inside. And possession snapped up by Braun. Pitching it to Hurdle. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Puck is thrown to Galchenyuk. The Canadians look to make a difference up the wing. Good position in the slot. Cranks a shot. Score! His first playoff goal. What a great memory for him. Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Well, that's a beauty, Edzo. That ripples the top of the net. The goaltender's got to be able to stay on his feet as long as he can if he's going to be able to stop such a perfect shot. They've won the faceoff. The Sharks want to generate something up the wing. Nice work by Shea Weber. Chip to Alsner. Up the wing, moving ahead. He's got that point pass. Let's it go. Can't get it on net. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Using the point. Shoots one. Carried to the corner by Pavelski. The defense was in the way. Loose puck. Puck loose because of that hit. Good job with the stick. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. The Canadians have racked up a victory, and the chain gets long. With that win, Doc, they found themselves with a tidy streak intact. The wins just keep on coming. So as the tournament rolled on, energized play ended only by a final horn. Good night from all of us.